which 360 camera is the best? Is it the One X2 or is it the One R? Let's take a closer look. The One X2 is a single piece 360 camera. The camera, battery and brain are in one body, but the battery is still removable and replaceable. The form factor of the One X2 makes it easy to slip into your pocket. The One R is a modular 360 camera. The camera, battery and brain are three separate components. When you assemble these components together, you have a 360 camera. The form factor of the One R is more difficult to fit into your pocket. The One X2 weighs 149 grams and the One R weighs 184 grams. The One X2 has a quarter inch 20 thread on the bottom. This makes it quick and easy to mount your One X2 onto your favorite camera accessories. There are no mounting options on the One R components. You must put the One R in the mounting cage provided and this will keep your components held together and provide a GoPro finger style connection to mount your One R onto your favorite camera accessories. The best thing about 360 cameras is the ability to achieve the floating camera effect. To achieve this effect, your 360 camera and selfie stick needs to be completely straight. The quarter inch 20 thread will always keep the One X2 completely straight on the selfie stick. The quarter inch 20 mount makes it super easy to swap between different camera accessories when you are out and about. But there is a chance that the camera can unscrew itself when there are a lot of vibrations during extreme action sports. However, with GoPro fingers on the One R, you must make sure before every time you press record, it is completely straight and tightened because your One R can move side to side. GoPro fingers makes it less convenient to swap between different camera accessories when you are out and about. You may need extra tools to help you tighten and loosen the screw, but GoPro fingers is the best way to keep your camera safe when there are a lot of vibrations during extreme action sports. It will just not fail. There is a plastic adapter provided in the One R box so you can adapt the GoPro fingers to a quarter inch 20 thread, but I highly recommend you buy the metal alternative because plastic can break really easily. Because of the strict national lockdown in the UK at the moment, it's very difficult for me to get new sample footage and photos with the One X2 and One R side by side with the latest firmware, but both cameras use the exact same sensor and lenses, so you will get very similar video and photo quality. You won't be able to tell which camera is which unless I tell you. The One X2 has an exclusive vivid color profile, which gives natural and vibrant color like GoPro. The One R has a standard color profile, which will give you neutral colors. The One X2 has excellent stitching quality when a subject is close, and far away from the camera because the One X2 has a very slim body. The One R stitching quality is not very good when a subject is close to the camera because the One R is quite thick. But the stitching quality does get better when the subject is at least 1.5 meters away from the camera. The One X2 lenses are not replaceable. If you do break one of your One X2 lenses, then there are only two options. The first option is to use the Insta360 repair service and you will need to send your One X2 to China. This service will cost approximately £130 per lens and several weeks of waiting. The second option is to buy a brand new One X2. The One R lenses are replaceable. If you do break one of your One R lenses, then you just need to buy a new 360 mod which costs £180. And that's why I made the Best 360 Monopod. It's designed to reduce the chance of your 360 camera getting blown over by the wind and it costs the same amount as a single lens repair. So save yourself the hassle of going through a repair center or buying a new mod and check out the Best 360 Monopod instead. I'll include a link to it in the video description. The One X2 battery life is very impressive. A single battery can last anywhere between 90 and 120 minutes. You can buy a fast charging hub as an additional accessory to charge up to three batteries. This is more convenient than charging a single battery at a time. The One R standard battery can last anywhere between 40 and 70 minutes. There is also a One R boosted battery available as an additional accessory. This battery is double the capacity of the standard battery and it can last anywhere between 90 and 120 minutes. But when you use the boosted battery, 
then you cannot use the 1R inside the cage. And using your 1R without a cage is dangerous for action sports. There is nothing to stop these components from breaking apart. The 1R battery door is really fiddly. If you have stubby fingers, then you might struggle to open and close this door when the 1R is in the cage. The 1X2 and 1R can both be charged using a USB-C cable. The 1X2 and 1R both have standard, HDR, time-lapse and bullet time video, but time shift mode is only on the 1X2. Both cameras record 360 video in the exact same video resolution. So the highest resolution 360 video you can record is 5.7K at 30 frames per second. You can also record slow motion, 4K 360 video, up to 50 frames per second. And there is also 3K at 100 frames per second. The One X2 has Steadicam video mode. In this mode, a single lens is used to record stabilized video up to 1440p. The One X2 and One R both have standard, HDR, burst, interval, and night shot mode. The highest resolution 360 photo you can take is 6080 by 3040. The One X2 has an exclusive mode called Pure Shot mode, which would give you less noisier photos in low light situations. The One X2 also has Insta Pano mode. In this mode, a single lens is used to capture a wide panoramic photo. The One X2 has four internal microphones and can record stereo and ambisonic sound. However, the ambisonic sound does not sound very good at the moment. This may change with future firmware updates. The One R has two internal microphones on the core module and can record stereo sound only. This is going to be an internal microphone test between the One X2 and One R. So to do this, I'm just going to read a short passage from a children's story and then switch between the two mics so you can hear how they differ. Once upon a time, there was an old mother pig who had three little pigs and not enough food to feed them. So when they were old enough, she sent them out into the world to seek their fortunes. The first little pig was very lazy. He didn't want to work at all and he built his house out of straw. The second little pig worked a little bit harder, but he was somewhat lazy too and he built his house out of sticks. Then they sang and danced and played together the rest of the day. The One X2 and One R internal sound quality is okay. It's not great and it's not that bad either. But let's put it this way. If I wanted to record clear and crisp vocal sound quality, I would not rely on the internal microphones of either of these cameras. The One X2 and One R both have dedicated mic adapters, so you can plug in an external microphone with a 3.5 mm jack. The One X2 mic adapter also has a USB-C port as well as a 3.5 mm mic input. The One X2 can mount an external microphone with the Alanzi Cold Shoe Adapter. The One R can mount an external microphone with the One R mounting cage, which includes a cold shoe, and this is an additional accessory. The compatible list of external microphones with Insta360 cameras are currently limited to these microphones. The One X2 and One R has an option to connect AirPods as an external microphone. Whilst this is a great idea, the sound quality just sounds like a phone call. The One X2 is waterproof up to 10 meters as you see it. You can make it waterproof up to 45 meters by using the dedicated One X2 dive case. When the One X2 is in the dive case, you will see the bottom of the dive case in your 360 footage, and this is normal. It is very important to note that the One R is not waterproof without the cage. The One R is waterproof up to 5 meters when the camera is placed inside the cage. And even then, I would not recommend using your 1R for water sports or underwater, because you may get the lens fogging issue. If you want to use your 1R for underwater, then I recommend you get the 1R dive case and vertical battery. You cannot use the 1R dive case without a vertical battery. When the 1R is in the dive case, you will see the bottom of the dive case in your 360 footage, and this is completely normal. If you want to get seamless stitching underwater, then you must use the dive case for each camera. The One X2 and One R has aqua vision mode to make your underwater footage look more natural. The One X2 has Steadicam mode, 
this mode can use one lens to record flat video up to 1440p. If you have the 4K mod with your 1R, then you can swap out the 360 mod for the 4K mod to record flat video up to 4K, 60 frames per second. If you have the 1 inch mod with your 1R, then you can swap out the 360 mod for the 1 inch mod to record flat video up to 5.3K, 30 frames per second, or 4K, 60 frames per second. It does take a little longer to assemble the 1 inch mod inside the cage because you have to screw on the lens guard as well. The 1 inch mod has a minimum focus distance of 100 centimeters. So if you are trying to vlog with the 1 inch edition, then you are most likely going to be out of focus. When you use the 4K mod or 1 inch mod, you have the choice between a back facing screen and a front facing screen. The 1X2 and 1R across all mods can record stats. You can record stats using your phone, Apple Watch, or the Insta360 GPS smart remote. The 1X2 and 1R have voice control. You can say start recording to make the camera start recording, and you can say stop recording to make the camera stop recording. Start recording. Stop recording. The 1X2, 1R360 mod and 4K mod can be used as a webcam. The 1 inch mod cannot be used as a webcam because it has a minimum focus distance of 100 centimeters. The 1X2 does have a sticky lens guard and a premium lens guard to protect your lenses, but it will affect your video quality. The 1R has clip on lens guards which attach onto the cage, but this will affect the stitching and video quality. The 1R is the first 360 camera to have ND filters available. ND filters will help you achieve a more natural look by applying the correct amount of motion blur to your 360 video. For now, there are no ND filters available for the One X2. The Insta360 app is hands down the best app ever made to reframe 360 video. The One X2 and One R can connect to your phone via Wi-Fi and you can edit your footage directly from the camera itself without having to download it to your phone. However, you can download the footage to your phone if you want to. The story editor will let you edit multiple video clips together into a single video. ShotLab is a really interesting feature in the Insta360 app. It will basically help you create really cool shots really quickly and easily in just two steps. So the first step is to follow the tutorial to capture the shot and then the second step is to give the footage to the AI in the Insta360 app and it will automatically edit the shot for you. You cannot use an Insta360 camera without a phone. You need a phone to activate the camera or it will not work. You will need one of the latest flagship smartphones to get the best editing experience out of the Insta360 app. Everyone's phone is different and everyone has different apps on their phone. Some of these apps will take up a lot of your phone's resources and this will cause the Insta360 app to not function as intended. There are a couple of things you can do to make sure that the Insta360 app functions much better. Delete the apps that you do not use very often and this will free up some of your phone's resources. If your phone storage is nearly full, then you should definitely clear some space. Turn your phone on and off to clear your phone's resources. Make sure your Insta360 projects are saved and exported and then clear your Insta360 cache from time to time. Insta360 Studio is the desktop software available for Windows and Mac. It has two main purposes. The purpose of the view tab is to convert your 360 footage from the native INSV file format, which is what Insta360 gives you when it records video and convert it into an MP4 or ProRes file so you can edit your footage in any video editor of your choice. The purpose of the free capture tab is to reframe your 360 shots. You can only reframe a single 360 shot at a time and export it. Then you can take your exported shots and import it into a video editor of your choice. You cannot edit multiple shots together into a single video using Insta360 Studio. The Insta360 app, which is the mobile software, is completely different to Insta360 Studio, which is the desktop software. 
the Insta360 app has way more features than Insta360 Studio. The One X2 and the One R both suffer from the red dot of death, which happens in very bright sunny weather conditions, and there is nothing you can do to get rid of it. This has not happened to me personally, but there are many reports on social media that the One R suffers from lens fogging. And this is probably because of the modular design and you will not get this issue on the One X2. The One R can overheat pretty easily in hot environments and this will cause your One R to stop recording and shut down. If you shoot small bursts of footage with the One X2 and One R, so let's say under 10 minutes at a time, then you should have no issues with overheating or the cameras becoming too hot to handle. The One X2 costs $429.99. The One R Twin Edition, which has the 360 mod and 4K mod, costs $439.99. The One R Expert Edition, which has the 360 mod and 1 inch mod, costs $676.98. The One R Trio Edition, which has the 360 mod, 4K mod and 1 inch mod, costs $719. 98. If you just want a simple and easy to use 360 camera, then I cannot recommend enough the Insta360 One X2. It is the perfect 360 camera for beginners. The One X2 is my personal favorite 360 camera. It gives you so many creative possibilities in a pocket size waterproof camera. And I also recommend that you get the lens cap, the fast charging hub and two spare batteries and I guarantee you, you are set for an all day adventure without running out of battery. And for me, I think this is the best 360 camera out there at the moment. If you want the best of both worlds to record 360 video as well as flat video, and you plan to record more flat video than 360 video, then you should consider the One R. Well, I hope this video has helped you make a decision. I'll include a link to these cameras in the video description and I'll see you in the next one.